Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this dude. It's hard to see. I can't get him all in. He is the eye rolling emoji. Super fun. Let's get started. We're going to be making these parts. So we're going to make this part and then we're going to sew on these things and then we're going to put the backs together. So this is what we're making today and it has to be decently flat anyway. So it's got a little, little waves going on, but it'll, it'll be easy to sew together. You just got to remember to keep your stitches all the same. So I'm using a number four hook, four millimeter, and my yarn calls for a 5.5 but um, I'm using a four anyway. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna chain three. So we're doing a fake magic circle. So you're gonna double crochet 15 into that first chain that you made. So put all 15 double crochets into that. So because we're using the first chain, you're not going to go into the first stitch, you're going to go into the second chain of the first chain that you did. And you're going to slip stitch, be tight. So chain two. And for this round I just want you to um, put two double crochets into every stitch around.
and slip stitch. This is the first chain that we made, so slip stitch right into that second chain. Chain two. So we're going to start our increase sequence. So I put a double crochet in the same space you were just in. And that gives us two stitches in that spot. Just going to angle this down a little bit. So the next space is going to be one double crochet. The next space is going to be two double crochets in the same space. The next space is going to be one. And the next space is going to be two. So our sequence is two, one, two, one, two, one. And that's how we're going to do an increase. So there's two in that space, one in that space, two in the next space, one, two. So do that all the way around. And my suggestion to you is to make both your pieces on the same day just so that your tension is the same because lots of things can can uh, mess with your tension. I hope I'm going slow enough. Let me know in the comments below. I do read my comments. So I have one stitch left, but instead of putting um, two in there, I'm going to put one because we have two over here, so I'm just going to put one in there. And slip stitch to the same place we've been slip stitching to. Chain two and put a double crochet into that same space. So for this sequence, increase sequence, we're going to be doing two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. So two double crochets in the same hole, and then the next two stitches, one each, and then two in the same hole again. So we got two in the same hole already that we're starting with. So the next one is going to be one double crochet 
and the next stitch is going to be one double crochet. So that's two, one, one, and we start again. Two double crochets in this hole, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, all the way around. So two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one. I keep double checking my work to see if I have done two one one. I can't seem to concentrate. I have the flu, and I can't seem to uh, concentrate on what I'm doing. Oops, and my attention is tight today. So if anyone ever tells you that nothing can change your attention, everything can change your attention. And mine it seems to be tight today. And again, we're going to end up with two. So in that last stitch, I'm just going to put one and slip stitch. So let's count this so we know how many stitches we have. Okay, so I have 52. There's no right or wrong. If you don't have 52, you don't have 52. What's important is um, the last row that we do, that you count the stitches that you have, and the next one you do, 
has to end with the exact same amount of stitches as your other one. So there's no right or wrong as far as numbers. You can drop a stitch, you can add a stitch, it doesn't matter at all. As long as your two pieces have the exact same number of stitches. So if you're doing your final row, which we're not on yet, but if you're doing your final row and your, your, your one piece has 81 stitches, this has to have 81 stitches. So if you're coming around and you're like, oh my god, I'm only at 70, start putting extra stitches in to make it 81. Um, if you're working ahead of me, just letting you know because when we single crochet this together, we're going stitch for stitch and you don't want any bunching. You don't want a spot where all of a sudden it's going to be like this because your stitches aren't equal. So doesn't really matter how many stitches you end up with. Like I said, you can drop them, you can add them, you can screw up as many times as you want. It's just as long as your other one has the exact same amount of stitches. So, moving on. So we just did two one one. So we did, in this row, we did two one, two one, two one. This row we did two one one, two one one. So on this next row, we're going to do two, one, one, one. So put a double crochet after you chain two, put a double crochet right in the same hole next to that guy. So you're starting off with your two right away. So in the next three stitches, you're going to put one double crochet each, and that's your double crochet. And that's your increase. I can manage to do it. So in the next three stitches, one each. And that's your increase. Two, one, one, one. So now we start again. Two. Two. One. 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 So we're gonna do that all the way around. Two one one one, two one one one, two one one one. Oh, but I didn't just make it more confusing.
go in to that second chain. Do your slip stitch. Chain two. This final row, doesn't matter how many you get around, just make sure you count and you know how many you get around. So when you do your second one, which I'm not going to do the second one with you in this tutorial, you're going to have to pause the video, but um, when you do your second one, you have to make sure you have the same number of stitches. I cannot stress that enough. So let's finish this final row. So double up there like I've been doing this whole time. So put another double crochet into that hole. And then you're going to do two, one, 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 one. So four single crochet, or double crochets over four stitches. So we did two, one, two, one. Then we did two, one, one, two, one, one. Now we did two, one, one, one. And now we're doing two, one, 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 one. So we have two here. So next four stitches are going to get one double crochet each. So this will be the row, the round, where a lot of people make their mistakes, including me, all the time. I don't think I have yet to build two of these that came out with the same amount of stitches. I've had to add stitches or take away stitches every single time. So this is just, I don't know, you, you get mesmerized or you get, and you, you think you've done four and you've done three or you didn't do two in the one hole. I, this will be the row that you do it. So. That's why I say the final row of your second one that you're going to make, um, you may have to add stitches or take away stitches. So two, one, 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 one. So two in this stitch and then double crochet in the next four and that's your increased sequence. That's your Final repeat. Once you're done, you can fasten off and start your next your next one if you're waiting for me. Um, but we are going to put our faces on before we sew it before we crochet it together. Um, it's just a lot easier to sew your faces on. So if you do make your other one. Don't fasten off. Sorry, going off camera a bit.
to beginners if I am going too fast for you, which I probably am, um, just pause the video. Because you know what you got to do. You know you got to go 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. How am I supposed to put 2 in that hole? See? My numbers are never the same because I screw up like that. So don't worry about your numbers. Just... I mean, I could sit here and say, okay, this, this round should have had 12, this round should have had 36, this round should have had 42, but, you know, it's not about that. It's just about your last row, your entire circle needs to have the right, this exact same number of stitches, so. You're not even going to tell if you've dropped a stitch or added a stitch. You're not even going to tell. I mean, we're sewing faces on these little guys, so. It won't even be noticeable if there's a gap or, you know, so beginners, don't don't be so anal. Don't, you don't have to be anal about this. This is a, actually the perfect beginner pattern because you don't really need to worry about the mistakes that you might make. And I don't just mean beginners. I mean, people that aren't beginners make mistakes. I do it all the time. I just know how to fix it. One more. Stitches. So you can fasten off with this guy. I'm going to count my stitches. So I have 77. So if you don't have 77, it's fine. I just have to make sure the second one I make have has 77. So it's no big deal. <clears throat> like I said, we're just putting faces on these. So um, you can fasten off just a normal way. You don't need a long tail or anything. So there's our first one and you can go ahead and rewind the video I mean it's pretty easy to remember um, you just chain three in the first chain you put 15 double crochets you do your chain you do your sequences so you two one your second round you do two one one your third round you do two one 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 and it's easy to remember um, and then your last round is two one 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 and then don't fasten off from your second one, but make sure you have the same amount of stitches that you have for this one. I know I've stressed that a number of times and it's probably really, really annoying. However, it is what it is. So once you're done that, come back and see me and we'll make some um, face parts. So now that we have our two parts of the face, we are going to work on the eyeball. I already have one done. The eyeball. So let me get my black. So we start off with black. All right, we're going to start with a slip knot. See if I can turn the color down a bit so you can see. First, we're going to chain three. 
And then in the first chain that you did, you're going to double crochet seven. Pull your work shut a little bit, not all the way because it just makes it too tight to get into this first stitch so you can do a slip stitch. Now we change colors, so get your white. So I'm just going to wrap my white around my hook and I'm going to chain two with the white. I know it's so hard to see. So I want you to put with the white in each stitch around two double crochets in each of the six spaces. It's so hard to see. Even even for me, it's hard to see. So going around six stitches takes you halfway. So you're going to chain two. You're going to turn your work. And then you're going to do 12 half double crochets back around. Just like that. And now you can fasten off. Almost done. Get rid of my weight. So, your black is still attached. We have not undone our black yet. 
So, all we're going to do is stick our needle back in, grab some black, reattach it, and we're going to single crochet all around the outside like we've been doing with everything else. I'm just trying to put, keep my tail in there too. You don't have to worry about it. You can tuck it in. I mean, it's it's just getting sewn on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I think it's just a habit <laughs> for me, really. So it should be curvy. It's okay. It doesn't mean you've done something wrong because mine mine's curvy. And we're back into the black, but I'm still going to go across where, for, to where I'm starting and do a slip stitch. And I'm back to where I started, so I'm just going to go into that first stitch that I did. Maybe. And do a slip stitch. And then you can just fasten off. And there is your rolly eyeball. In 3D, because it's cupped so it does stick out. I think they're so super cool. So next is going to be the easy peasy. So pause the video, obviously. We're, you're going to go make another eyeball. And um, I will meet you back here and we can do the mouth. All right, guys, let's get started on the mouth, and then that's all we do, and then we sew it on. It's just a couple things with this emoji. So make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 13. So I might need a single crochet in every stitch starting at the second one from the hook, the only one you can get into, and single crochet for a total of 12 back, back up. So once we've come back up, we're going to chain two, we're going to turn our work, try to <laughs> flatten this out as much as possible so it's easy to work with. So I'm going to 
Over the next three stitches, I'm going to put a double crochet. And then I'm going to do three half double crochets across three stitches. I'm trying to trying to make a crooked side mouth because he's a rolly eye dude, right? So I think that's what you would do with your mouth. And then single crochet in the next four stitches. And then slip stitch in the remaining stitches. Chain one, fasten off. That's your sideways mouth. You know, it's supposed to replicate one of those, pfft, you know. Pfft. If you, you want to do a different mouth, that's fine. That's the mouth that I did. When I sewed it on to this guy, it really did not... I got all stretched out of shape, so this time when I sew it on, I'm just going to make sure that I don't sew it on like that. I'm actually going to use a separate piece of yarn. So, I'm going to get one of my needles out. And I'm going to hide one of these away. I only need the other one to tie a knot with, but actually I don't even need that, really. You can hide both of them away if you want. So I'm just going to tuck it in and then snip it off. Because, I mean, I'm not hiding it. I, I keep saying hide. I say that every time. I'm weaving it in so it doesn't come unraveled. And then I'm just going to snip it off. I don't want it out of shape either. And then I'm just going to snip it off and uh, and just be done with it because um, I pulled my mouth out of shape last time when I didn't use a separate piece of thread yarn. So this time I'm going to try to do it this way and see if it makes a difference. Because you kind of want that mouth, do you know what I mean? You guys know emojis. You know what I mean. So, sideways. Sideways mouth. I just don't know whether to put it up or down. It's up to you. But. So, what did I just do? Just tossed my black aside. So, I'm going to do the mouth first just to, uh, So I kind of know where to put my eyes. So I'm just going to come up and try to stay on camera this time. Not making any promises. So I'll leave a bit at the back for tying, just like usual. Um, so I'm going to start with this at the bottom. Maybe. Can't seem oh there we go. Couldn't seem to poke it through. So I'm gonna try not to pull tight to lose my shape. Going back around and I'm just going to tie this double knot it but loosely because I don't want my mouth to be out of shape. I've said that a number of times. I'll try to stop repeating myself. 
Oh, what happened there? Something went wrong. Oh, I didn't pull it all the way through. That's okay. Actually, I just tie it like this. No, I can't. Too short. I'll just tie it like this. Yeah, it might help if you pulled your work all the way through. There. So, I don't know. Looks like it's kind of out of shape again a little bit, so. So, I think I'm just gonna cut this short. Cut this short just so it stays underneath the thing. Guess it helps if I'm on camera and you know what I'm talking about. So I just cut all these short and I'm just gonna tuck him away. Because he was my last stitch and I don't want him to come undone. Not that I think it will because it, it's going to be sewn to something but just extra precautions because I'm anal. I am, I am. So well, we just need to figure out where this guy is going. Be down a little bit. I think I, I almost put mine together on the last one. So yeah, that looks like it might be right. So you can pin this in place and do it the easy way. I'm going to invest in some pins because I seem to screw it up every time. Okay, I'm gonna try to hold it here. It's hard to try to show you guys and uh, keep it in place all at the same time, so. Oh, if I haven't learned anything, so I just want to make sure that's straight before I tie a knot. As if you've watched my other video, my Laffy Face video, I had a hell of a time with the eyeball. I didn't put it in the uh, um, intermediate video that I made, but it's in the beginner video. I wanted to show you guys that, you know, I make mistakes too. All right. I did not make these eyes on the same day, so they are two different sizes. This is why we always stress to make sure that you make your stuff on the same day, one right after another, because your tension will be different. And this eye is smaller than that eye. So that's why I made this eye um, two weeks ago. I made a bunch of eyes. And I only, and I made an odd, odd number of eyes because I wanted to do this video. So I knew I had to make another eye anyway. So yeah, I have two different size eyes. And that is why. But I mean, I could probably stretch it. Alright, battery changed, crisis diverted. So because my eyes are two different sizes, I could stretch this out while I sewed it down, which I kind of am. Um, and I don't think I am on purpose, it's just something that always seems to happen. <laughs> I don't know how. Anyway, um, no one's going to notice once it's all together, but it is a good practice to just make all your pieces so 
even the the backing like the the front and the back of the face the yellow parts it's always good to make them on the same day because even though you have the exact same number of stitches that you need to have for each piece and your tension was tighter you're it'll be you'll notice it it'll be um, it'll be noticeable so if you got to make double pieces of stuff And there are channels out there that will tell you that it doesn't matter, but it really, 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 really matters. So, I think my eyes are fairly even. I like my mouth in this one better than this other one. Way better. So, I'm um, just going to tie it. And this one was so easy peasy. So, you finish doing yours, and I'll meet you back here in a minute, in a second. And we'll uh, sew this bad boy together and stuff it. Alrighty, Rooney. So get your other piece. And I am going to try to put my seams together. So just make a slip knot. We're crocheting this together like like the other ones if you've watched my other videos. So just make a slip knot. Take it off. So we're going stitch for stitch. Snagged on something already. Just do a single crochet, and we're going to do a single crochet in every stitch around. So if you don't go stitch for stitch, or if you miss a stitch, actually if you miss a stitch, I don't think it's going to make that big of a deal. But if you don't go stitch for stitch, you could get bunching. So if you do get a lot of bunching, you've either missed too many stitches, or you don't have the same number of stitches. So, I'm just about coming around where I think I can start putting some stuffing in it. So I got a little bit of milk in so I'm going to shove some stuffing.
So I'm probably going to sew it up a little bit more. Sew it. Crochet it up a little bit more. And then I'll finish stuffing it. Again. But there's at least some in there. Aesthetically, I like it. I think it looks good. And I think it uh, just creates a nice... I like I like this around it. I don't uh, I don't mind it at all. The camera likes to cut me off in the middle of talking. It's a little out of shape right now. Actually, I don't think I'll put any more in here because I I don't want his face to be distorted by filling him too full. But if you push down and it doesn't completely pop back up, yeah, I need more. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more. Or I just need to move it around. I'll shove some more down there. Yeah, see how it pops back? You know, you've probably got enough. So we'll do squishy face after this. Anybody that uh, has followed me long enough knows what I mean by squishy face. Um, the ones that don't, you'll find out. We'll keep you guessing until then. So I'm just going to finish doing him up. So when you get back to where you started, so when I get back to here, I'm just going to slip stitch. Um, this guy, you can just tuck him right down in there. Actually, I'm going to not tuck him in because it's going to leave a bump and I don't really want it. A bump there. So, my last stitch. And then I'm just going to go into the first stitch that I did. I'm going to do a slip stitch. And fasten off. Pull that guy through. Pull tight. So let's do squishy face. Squishy face. This is what I mean by squishy face. You're just moving that all around. Yeah, I put too much in. You can see my stitches pulling. That's how you know. No, I've put too much in. So I should have checked that before I sewed it back tight, but where did that guy come from? A straggler. Yeah, so when you fill it too full, you see my stitches. So don't, don't do what I did. So check that before you do it all up like I just did. And I know what some of you are thinking is, why did you leave that in the video? So people can learn by it, you know? People can go, oh, I, well, I don't want to do that. I don't want, so... That's why I leave stuff like this in videos, so people can 
not repeat my stupidity. You know, everybody makes mistakes. I put too much stuffing in and my face got distorted and which I said that it would and I still did it. And you guys could see that. So yeah, I could have cut the video and I could have made a whole new one. But I don't mind that you guys see my mistakes. You just know not to, uh... And I'm still going to give this doll to my grandkids, whether it's showing the stitches or not. Um, and you guys can just see my mistakes and not repeat them. So, I don't mind that there's bloopers. <laughs> oh, this guy's funny. Anyway, yeah. But I don't care. I don't care. See, in this one, it's not doing it because I didn't put too much stuffing. Actually, you can tell by looking at the, how much more stuffing I put in, which I shouldn't have put that last bit in. But And you'll have a face like this. If you don't put too much stuffing in, you'll have a normal-looking face. You put too much stuffing in, that's what happens. So don't be like Tara. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.